So I am talking about only one uh, Guar scene and it's a stunning story that one scene has generated a lot of income in the last one year for farmers. Um, this seed is particularly grown in uh, Rajasthan, 70% of the Guar seed is grown in uh, Rajasthan and it may be a window of, uh, maybe a small window but it's a window of prosperity for uh, small farmers. Uh, this is um, probably, uh, this crop has its day now because uh, uh, it has suddenly uh, come into prominence because of a tenfold price increase, I'll just uh, come to it. So I'll cover these three points. <coughs> Uh, how relevant it is to small holders' prosperity and uh, what can we on, do or not do uh, to sustain this prosperity. Goa is basically Goga hard, it's a cattle feed and it's grown uh, in rain-fed conditions, in uh, very hardy conditions, arid and semi-arid conditions. India produces 85% of the uh, Goa of the world and 70% uh, is grown in Rajasthan. Uh, it has some unique qualities, uh, therefore it has very wide industrial applications. And uh, Guar seed is used to produce uh, Guar gum, which is um, which has created a lot of exciting stories uh, in last one year. So this is where it is grown, uh, Rajasthan particularly in Bikane. So last year its price went up from 3,000 to 30,000 per quintal. And uh, uh, the increase happened uh, because of a particular uh, new use uh, that was found in the fracking industry, in the petroleum gas industry, <coughs> for the extraction of natural gas. So they used Guargam in the process of extraction of natural gas, which is trapped under rocks. And uh, because of that, prices jumped tenfold. There was, of course, speculation and hoarding, all of that. But um, it replaced Basmati as the highest exported green commodity from India. And 16,000 crores were earned from uh, Guadalupe export last year. This is uh, fracking. Uh, this is a process in which uh, these are rocks and you inject uh, some liquids along with Guadalupe to crack up the rocks. So fracking is probably coming from fracture and cracking. It's, a, it's an old technology. Uh, but uh, uh, US particularly has been using this technology since last year or so to sort of develop its uh, natural gas industry. Shale gas. Uh, shale gas, yeah. Shale is rock, is a form of rock. Uh, so we did a study of 18 farmers in Bikaner, um, and all but one were doing rain fed farming. Uh, they had between 1.5 hectares to 2 hectares. And they used to grow moat, which is used in the Beacon Air snacks industry. Uh, so moat and uh, guarda uh, and bajra for food security. Average production was about 8 to 12 uh, quintal per hectare um, uh, under rain fed conditions. So if you look at one farmer, uh, typically they made, made about 1.5 lakhs from their uh, crop production. Often they didn't have anything in Rabi, but if there were some rains, they would do um, Jana. Uh, so not everyone got the 30,000 per quintal price, but they still got much better than uh, what they were get, getting earlier. So um, farmers sold at 7,000 to 30,000, and even a two quintal at 30,000 made a lot of difference to their input portfolio. Um, yeah, the high earners made uh, of course, the processing capacity, uh, processing is also sort of centered in Rajasthan. So, a Ganga Lender company made thousands of crores uh, out of uh, Guar. Someone who had 500 quintals made 60 lakhs. And uh, even farmers who had 20 quintals made about 5 to 6 lakhs. So, people have done all kinds of things, did lavish weddings, bought tractors, went abroad. All kinds of things have happened in the... Uh, yes, <laughs> so, uh, in fact, the, the company which has made the maximum money, they donated 100 crores for a medical college in Ganga Nagar. So, and uh, the problems that farmers talk about are uh, essentially the cost of seeds have gone up and uh, credit is, of course, an issue. Uh, none of these farmers had any uh, support, any bank linkages. One of them had a Kisan credit card, card but uh, nothing from NGOs or government or any other support. Uh, they all do agri labor and animal husbandry. So overall, they were making uh, more than two lakhs. 
Um, Gua also has a peculiar uh, characteristic because it is run mostly in rain fed conditions. The production can range from 2 lakh um, ton a year to 15 lakh. So that also adds another element of uh, price uh, variation because the production varies so much. Uh, you see like cotton is very consistent, but Gua can go really, the light color is Gua. Uh, it can go very down to uh, very up. So that also adds to the price, but, uh, price variability. Uh, just uh, two slides on the shale gas reserves around the world. So more and more countries are finding shale gas reserves, so fracking is likely to sort of stay for a while. Of course, people have begun to look for substitutes. So uh, most are in the US, but China is supposed to have the uh, highest shale gas reserves. But at least America has already made investments Lot investments to uh, extract this natural gas. So there is uh, at least a few crop seasons are likely to uh, this price rise is likely to sort of sustain. The response has been that the private companies have increased uh, processing capacities. They have uh, started giving the short contracts. They've uh, started distributing free seeds. Uh, farmers in irrigated areas have started growing it, in Punjab area, some governments have started promoting uh, Goa production. And this year, it is expected that the acreage will go up from 3 million to 4 million hectares. So, uh, just to sum up, uh, I think to benefit small farmers, what needs to be done is that uh, price information has to be available, which is mostly there because these farmers are very clued on to, uh, Monday is very close by, uh, and these farmers are aware about the prices. Uh, one, partic one, one particular thing that the government should sort of stay away from the lure of export maximization out of this, because otherwise, irrigated farmers and richer farmers are likely to benefit a lot more. And uh, anything, uh, the, the rational agri policies talking about declaring MSP for uh, Goa. So these are the things I think the government needs to sort of stay out of Another thing that they should do is if get into seed distribution because all of that is likely to benefit farmers who are who have access to irrigation and other things. So a rain fed farmer who's been going Goa traditionally for years, probably it's his day. And for a few seasons that I can make some money. So that's it. Thank you.